I'm here at Fox Dayson and I'm with a physicist, Christos. Yes. I was going to call you the physicist, but apparently there are more than one of you. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what the rumors say, yes. Yeah. How many physicists are there at CERN? Oh, that would be a bit hard to calculate. Uh, right now at CERN, there are about uh, 10,000 uh, what we call users, um, which are researchers coming from um, labs, universities that uh, collaborate with CERN, and they come here to do their research. So I would say on the order of 10,000. And you work at CMS, which is one of the detectors. Yes. Now, in software development for CMS, we might think central management system um, or concurrent mark and sweep. So when you say CMS, what does it stand for? So CMS, as you said correctly, is one of the experiments, one of the detectors lying on the circumference of the Large Hadron Collider. And my work is um, to uh, write the control software for uh, some electronic components for that are responsible for the data taking uh, uh, at CMS. And what does CMS stand for? Ah, CMS stands for Compact Muon Solenoid. Okay, so muon is one of the fundamental particles, is that correct? It's one of the, yes, one of the fundamental particles. It's a lepton, as we call it. It's like a cousin of uh, the electrons, actually. Okay, and so what, what we're looking at here in the Large Hydrogen Collider is accelerating protons to, is it 99.99991% okay. of the speed of light? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and on this, so in order to do this, there, there are several kind of like smaller uh, accelerators, aren't mm -hmm. there? So you, you get to like 99%, and then you get to a bit more than 99%, and then eventually the proton is going to the Large Hydron Collider, mm -hmm. where they reach this speed, which exactly. I won't remember the number of nines. Oh, so you know a lot about physics. <laughs> I've been paying attention today. And, uh, and then you collide the protons. Mm -hmm. So for the average software developer, we might forget our secondary school physics or our university physics. Well, I haven't done university physics, but um, so we have protons and electrons in an atom. So is it right you start with an inert gas and you strip out the electron, electrons in order to get the protons? Yeah, actually we start uh, with uh, hydrogen, which is just one proton with uh, one electron around it. So we just separate the uh, positive from the negative, uh, protons being a positive, and we just, this is how we build our uh, raw matter, let's say, with our, our starting point. And then we fire the proton into uh, a smaller, the, the first accelerator and speed it up and yes. up. Yes, so the, the, the acceleration chain, uh, the, so at first we have a linear accelerator, which uh, gives a first boost to the particles, and then uh, they go through a series of uh, circular accelerators that in each step they increase uh, the energy of, of the beam. So what does the CMS in particular look for? Because you have four detectors. So uh, CMS along with ATLAS are uh, what we call the two general purpose detectors of uh, the Large Hadron Collider. They have uh, the widest physics reach, so essentially they were built to try to find answers to all the questions that we have right now, or most of the questions that we have right now it's uh, not regarding... It's a small problem. <laughs> no, it's, it's quite <laughs> complex actually, yes. <laughs> uh, on, uh, so we're trying to look for answers to as many problems as we can uh, on particle physics. Whereas the other two detectors, uh, ALICE and LHCB, have a more uh, specific uh, physics research program. Uh, so LHCB, for example, is uh, looking into the matter-antimatter asymmetry. So according to what uh, the theories tell us, uh, after the Big Bang, we had equal quantities of matter-antimatter uh, uh, created. Right now, everything around us is uh, purely matter. So we're trying to figure out why uh, this antimatter uh, disappeared, uh, what made it uh, uh, go away. <clears throat> And uh, the ALICE experiment is actually not using proton collisions, but it's using uh, lead ion collisions, so uh, lead nuclei. And it's trying to uh, study a property of matter called uh, quark, quark gluon plasma, which is a state of matter that existed only uh, fractions of a second right after the Big Bang. Very exciting. Oh, it's quite cool. <laughs> And now, uh, when you're in your day-to-day -day work, you work very closely with the um, with the software developers. I am one of them. <laughs> oh, sorry. Of course you are. You, you are here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so, yes, my job is uh, to uh, write software to control the electronics. And this actually means interfacing with people uh, also for the, with the engineers, uh, for example, that are actually building the electronics, and also uh, people that will be using those electronics to gather uh, the requirements and so on and so forth. So it's a pretty wide, uh, let's say, there's a wide range of uh, things to talk about. Thank you.